What's up, everybody? It's Eric Vidari with Vidari Realty Group. I'm a realtor here in Austin, Texas, and I help our clients get out of debt and start saving up for homes. Today, we're talking about how to save essentials or how to save no, how to save money on the essentials. All right, the essentials are food, utilities, transportation, and shelter. Now, it's really hard to save on these because it's like there are the essentials. You, you do what you do, and you don't really spend extra, but there are ways to cut it. There are little things you can do, and little things add up. Just like little things every single day add up. <laughs> um, this isn't meant for, like, you're not going to have to, like, drastically change your life. Like, all this stuff, in any, like, like in, in, in everything, like, not in everything. Like, bring this closer. With all this stuff, all it really is is just focusing and finding, like, you're, you're watching. Yeah, you're watching what you're spending. That's all it is. It's just, that's the really only drastic change is you're watching your money and you're telling it where to go. It's, it's not drastic lifestyle changes. It's just being aware and knowing where your waste is. And that's it. I mean, yeah, like I can't, yeah. Like my lifestyle hasn't changed. The only thing that has changed is my income or not my income is my bank account. It keeps going up because I'm watching where my money goes and I'm watching where my waste is. And I understand that most waste only comes because we're bored or we want to impress people. And once you realize that, now it's much easier to rein it in and take control. But like I said, this one, this one's for saving money on the essentials. Okay. Um, and that, like I said, is food, utilities, transportation, and shelter. So let's go through shelter. Shelter, how do I save money on shelter? I moved about 45 minutes outside of town. It it but I have a mortgage less than a thousand dollars. And a gas payment around three hundred to four hundred dollars, but that's better than a, a mortgage payment and a gas payment inside of town. And so that's one sacrifice I have taken. Another one. Um, so that was shelter, but it's also like also transportation. I carpool in with my wife. Right, we park our car at a friend's house. We drive out together. We drive in together, and there we go. That's how I keep some of my gas my gasoline payments around for both of us. 300 to 400 bucks a month. Okay. Utilities. So that's water, gas, and electric. Um, that one, you really can't, you, I mean, you use the water use, you can take shorter showers, but for us, we have a cap or a cap or not a cap, like a bottom limit where we, it's no matter what we have to break like a certain limit to actually start getting charged. So we have like a flat fee of 105 for, Water, sewer, trash, and recycling. No matter what, that is the bottom. If we break the water cap, then we start paying per gallon. But we've never broken it. Um, but here's where we do save a lot of money. We save a lot of money on food. All right, we know our bare minimum. Or not a bare minimum. We've actually never tested our bare minimum for food. But we know our average budget for food. And that's around 350 to 400 also per month. Um, everything's around... Yeah, everything's around 300, 400. Um, but so since we know our, our our average, we can now try to beat it. And what we do is we make soups, casseroles. One time we made fajitas for the both of us for all week. And on top of that, we eat a lot of we eat eggs, a lot of rice. Um, what else? Beans. They said they're too expensive. So Right now, I've just been eating a lot of eggs and potatoes for, for breakfast. Um, a couple weeks ago, it was just a bunch of beans and cheese for breakfast. Um, but we eat the same thing every single day. Um, this week, we have uh, a green chicken soup and chili. And basically, I'm eating that either for lunch and dinner or vice versa. Once for lunch, once for dinner. But every day this week, we're set up where I can just eat that every single day. And then hopefully that falls into Saturday and then I have myself a nice little breakfast, but we've already figured out how to make food for the week for both of us and how not to over make food to where we have to throw it away. So it takes a lot of practice, but here in the end, we, I mean, we're about six months in and we are, we we're honed in. So if we need to make changes and we need to, to bring down our grocery bill, we know what we have to do. Um, and if that came to it, like we could easily just survive off of, we can get chicken really cheap and we can get rice really cheap. 
and we know exactly how to make that for the week. But yeah, so let's. I'm trying to think here. Um, really, the only saving you're gonna really be doing is food. And right here, I wrote down. You're like I just said, you got to figure out your grocery budget and try to beat it. Um, have a list and stick to it. So before we go grocery shopping, we write down what we need. We go in, we get it. We don't get distracted by the coupons, the extra sales, none of that. Um, we just go in, we know what we need, and we get it. Um, sometimes, like on the weekends, I will be like, oh, I'll look, I have a miscellaneous budget, right? And that also saves me on emotional spending. A lot of times, I'll just be like, man, I really want a steak. You know what I can do? I can go to HEB and get a steak. And it's not going to be wasteful. It's not going to be like, it doesn't happen every single day. It's just like once a week. Oh, so at that point, it's like, oh, I'm wasting only 20 bucks out of the month, but it's not really a waste because I actually have a miscellaneous budget. Okay. Um, so yeah, have a list, stick to it. When you, you see something on Instagram or Pinterest and you're like, oh, it just looks so wonderful. If you have that miscellaneous budget for yourself personally, you can go and make that, that meal. Um, but yeah, have a list, stick to it, go in, get out, don't get distracted. All right. Like I said, make casseroles or this, this week we have a bunch of soup and chili. Um, also here's another good one. Look in the pantry and plan your meals around that. Um, right now we got a lot of beans in the pantry. So maybe next week we make, I don't know. Um, what would we make with a lot of beans? Bean casseroles are, no, don't throw me down there. No, beans just perfectly on, just put them on the side and that's it. Um, but if we had to, I would just go get a bunch of pork fajita meat and throw it on the grill. Start grilling that up and have fajitas every single day for lunch. And then I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't need to mix it up because you know what? I see my bank account and that sucker is just going up. Anyways. All right. Let's, uh, so yeah, look in the pantry and plan meals around that. We also have a lot of rice in the pantry. So um, rice and chicken is great and it's cheap. So you get, yeah, yeah. Um, and then this one says, go with the grocery store brand. I mean, I go with the grocery store brand when I go in for pretty much anything. Yeah. Like if I can find it cheaper, I will. Um, there's some stuff I'm trying to think things that I will not go grocery store brand on. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. There's not much. I will not. Yeah. Like maybe hot sauces because each hot sauce has a different type of flavor. You know, I'm using it for the flavor. I'm not using it for the utility. Anyways, yeah, it's just hot sauces. All right, you want to splurge on a hot sauce? Be my guest. Um, but yeah, so so transportation, if you can carpool, you have something to carpool with, carpool with them. Um, shelter, if you can move out of town because rent is cheaper, let's do that. But other than that, yeah, really saving money is just knowing where it is, how much is coming in. And not getting not getting carried away with entertainment and trying to boost your status, because uh, when you get carried away with entertainment, well, then you'll see something that can boost your status. You won't have the self control, and on top of that, you won't have the money because you wasted it all on entertainment. And the next thing you know, you're using that credit card. So, if you don't want to be broke, you want to have extra cash in the bank. Just know where it goes, and when you know where it goes. You'll be better able to to take control of it and and tell it where to go and just watch your bank account grow and those debts minimize. Um, I am Eric Vidari. If you want coaching, head over to VidariRealtyGroup.com. I'll set you up and I'll be your accountability partner. If you're in the Austin area and this sounds like a uh, plan you want to you want to get into a home debt free, head over to VidariRealtyGroup.com. Well, yeah, I'm Eric Bernard. Thanks for watching.